all right guys so today we're gonna look at Neo. we're gonna look at the five minute one month three months six months one year and why not for you guys five years actually let me blow this up for you guys so you can have a better view i have a multi-screen setup it i know you guys don't see that you might just see one okay there we go so on the five minutes guys today it's up 4.3 percent it is 11:41 my local time and it started it started good it started with a nice little bang and it was looking like it was gonna cross under over here so i use a sma 15 and i also use an hma 14 okay so i i see this here and it here is crossing under under it it looks like it's gonna go negative and it also same thing for the macd is going negative but that only lasted just a little while and then it's reversing now and as far as i see it from this time it's gonna be positive at least a little longer on the rsi it's been above the rsi it's oversell so that's all we could tell right now of course it was short over here that was over overbought i'm sorry i mean i meant overbought it also showed there was overbought over here but as you can see it kept going so we use multiple in indicators also on the psr or the psr um it was sh it's showing positive to begin with and then negative over here and then back to positive again over here psrs is you know if it's under it it's positive if it's over it it's a negative so all so those are your signals right now currently so far i know this is not going to be a live video but i just wanted to go with you now let's check it out the one month so on the one month what i want to show you guys um really well if you guys care to look at the volume this is how the volume is going right now I don't trade with the volume but yeah it was it's getting high for a little bit a little bit lower but it's still positive as you're seeing the the, the buyers are still coming and uh, they have a bunch of positive indicators for neo lately a bunch in the last couple of days trading days in fact in this day right here one two three green four green in positive indicators and now what I don't I don't use this but just to show you Elliott waves crossovers fast colostics and stuff like that momentum I think this might be like a um, well, let's let's re let's read one real quick. Bullish events, upward moving events. If you want to pause it and read it, this is what it is. But on the one month, I have some indicators here. It was negative, so a little bit here. But now all I'm seeing positive indicators, guys. That's what we're gonna look at in the one month. And I, basically, I could show you this on the three months, and it'll look better. So let's keep it the three months. So. Three months if you guys are a real quick trader swing trader let's look and most people use a hma 15 i have mine to be a 14. it's just what works for me better okay guys so as you can see if it's over it it's positive if it's under it it's negative right positive negative positive negative over here it's negative for a little while started to get positive and it's been positive for the best the last what is this like two weeks it's just been re neo has been really good right and it's still showing like it's going to be positive over here it was looking like it's about to go down again but it's still showing positive so that's that's one indicator that you're going to see there and also on the macd where under the three months it has just crossed over very nicely to positive territories also the psrs are under they're all crossed over right around here so multiple indi indicators guys that it's it's positive now on the six months what i want you to look at also i forgot the three months the rsi All right so over here normal 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 I've actually you know a bit undersold but still within normal so over here it touched very not very low which was the lowest point i think yeah it was and then over here it's about it's getting up there guys it's about to hit uh over about territory and we're also gonna look over here in the three months. Uh, actually, we'll go to the six months for the rest. Six months chart. Um, first thing we're gonna look at is the boiling band. As you can see, when it touches the boiling band, it usually bounces. See, well, not always, but like over here, it should have bounced in, but you know, it had a big movement going, bounce back, bounce back, bounce back, bounce back. So the boiling fire, so we are in the boiling band now. It's reaching up there. It might still go up a little more before it bounces back, or it might be the top right now. That's all we can read from just the boiling band. But I want to introduce in the six months chart the SMA 50, 50, which is mm, what I would use to indicate a healthy or unhealthy 
stuck at the moment you know so this is the longest uh, i have i think it is yeah i think it is the longest indicator i have so as you can see all this time it was over the sma 50 and then when it finally crossed under the sma 50 for what is this about three month range it's been going down and down and down and down right now over here it did look like it was gonna pass over here oh i remember telling a couple of friends too i'm buying new this looks so good and then what happened uh tesla uh, tesla's car killed somebody in autopilot or something and then the whole ev ev stock went down again so even though the indicator showed positive remember guys news and events before indicators before charts and that brought the whole ev market down but once again over here yeah, everything started to seem to go up all the signals but yeah the 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 um sma 50 is what i would use for long-term health or unhealthy healthiness of a chart and it was positive here positive here and then finally over here the candle started going under it and you see and it's been in under it under it since of course over here really was it tested it but like i told you that's what happened with tesla and we just it just went back but lately guys lately the really good news is, is it's back into healthy territory now long term but it has to be tested for about a week and a half and two weeks so if this could keep going if this could keep going guys you know for a week or two weeks and it stays over the sma 50 and now let me look at the one year chart to show you see a whole year starting here oh healthy 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 right this is not including all the other short term or mid -term, uh trading signals just i uh, just know it is there's that that's how i take it healthy or unhealthy okay it's been healthy 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 unhealthy over here along with a lot of the other um gro uh, growth stocks you know how it's been so unhealthy 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 tested it but nope and finally over here it's over the healthy territory okay guys so we could keep this up for a week and, week and a half to two weeks and we might just be back on to being healthy okay i mean it is now but you know it's it let a week and a half two to be sure for those of y'all who are the longer term swing traders and uh yeah that's new so far guys so um before we get on to um tesla let me tell you guys uh that this is my first video and if you do it if you like it um make sure you leave a comment and like because um i don't know if i'm gonna get enough views to keep doing this um and yeah and what i my my channel is called three styles because i want to have three accounts okay and just kind of show you how they grow one where i just choose maybe top five six companies that i i think you guys might like to see grow and the other one and i just let let it there let you know a thousand or two thousand bucks there and then i make another account uh where it's why i swing trade them according to the charts you know as buy sell buy sell and let them go and see what the difference is you know over time day by day month by month with those two accounts and then the third one uh, would be um i would invest my money in etfs if you don't know what an etf is basically it's like a stock but in the in the stock it has different companies you know let me look up the actual definition of etf real quick it's etf stands for exchange traded fund so basically it's like you give your money to a a company that trades for you but they don't trade that often you know they just have certain stuff like technology stocks in them and you give them their money and usually they do a lot better than the than people that don't know what to buy or if you go to a brokerage firm and, and invest the money with them usually etf some etfs can do really good you know like um like arkk for example let's look at that in the map arkk that's an etf and y'all know that's like a growth e growth etf one of the best ones so uh, last year this was at around 60 and it went up to 155 around there I and mean, then come in guys that's that's more than 100 percent return that it was even up up to date now what is this like a 60 percent return for the year 70 um and and you know more, if you go to a brokerage they're going to give you a five to maybe 20 percent max returns for a year so yeah invest in, i'll have some different etfs i'll find the best ones money on growth stocks or whatever you guys think you might like and then the same stocks trade swing traded okay so that's what the basis of this channel is that's why it's called three styles three different styles of investing your money so uh, now now on to tesla guys remember this is my first video if i do anything wrong anything you don't like just let me know and let me know if you like, want me to continue or not share it um subscribe and i will keep doing these videos so now let's go on to tesla 
All right, same thing as before. Let's start with the five minutes. Let's blow this up. All right, so it is down one and a half today. And uh, currently, as I'm, I'm watching this five minutes, this is for today. All I could tell from this now is that it's it had it was about to reverse a little but it's looking like it's not candle wise uh, macd wise it's about to reverse right now it, it seems like it for the day it's a little high on the overbought also so right now it's, it's not looking good for the day let's keep to the month now on the month um volume there's test always has volume but as you can see for today it's it's a low volume day it had a couple of positive um positive signals but really it's kind of it's been kind of mixed nothing much that you could tell for the month here let's go on to the three months so on the three months as you can see here looking at my sma 14 it's been up and then starting to go be down starting to be up again starting to be down we're starting to be up here about three weeks ago two weeks ago and now and now it looks like it's starting to be down again psr all right here are the dots all here positive 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 negative 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 the past two weeks a little positive then back so we just switched back to negative within a month guys rsi lower indicator nothing special there let's go to six months six months all right so what have we left out um uh, let's look at the boiling term band over here so over it went back under went back uh, normal over went back under went back and pretty normal for right now nothing we could tell there now over here we start seeing the sma 50 line right healthy 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 unhealthy he had slightly crossed over but not you know congruently enough and it's back to being in unhealthy right now territory now let's look at uh, one year yep see healthy 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 slightly unhealthy back to healthy 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 and then big crossover over here to unhealthy you tested it a little bit here but just back to unhealthy so everything i gather from tesla right now it's unhealthy right now it's unhealthy to buy it news could change it you know with news and events before patterns before anything like that so um that's tesla for right now not too much to dig into it it just is this doesn't look healthy right now but it does have a low point over here okay so if you guys trade like that with you know resistance and support it does seem like there's one around uh, 540 ish or so if you're if you ever want to buy tesla of course if you're long term yeah it's a good price to buy it right now guys if you're a swing trader i would not buy it right now but if you know long term it's it's it's, it's a discounted right now if you're long term yeah, uh, but that's all I have. Actually, let's look at the five years. Did I look at the five years with Neo? <laughs> As you can see, it just blew up. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, guys, that's all I have. Let me know if you like the video. What can I improve on? Improve on. Remember, it's my very first video, so let me know everything you have in your mind. And uh, if you would like, if you like this type of styles, if you want me to start those three different accounts, um, just let me know, guys, and I can make that happen for you. All right, peace.